Hello my friends. It is Sunday morning. It's pretty quiet and I want to make a birthday manicure for my friend. And I picked out these plates. Uh, she just got a little kitty so I thought it would be cute to make a little birthday kitty manicure. So that's what I'm doing. I also pulled these plates. These are new from Maniology so don't tell on me. But I'm probably going to use these. And I have already done one coat of um, Sinful Colors Rose Dust. And I pulled some colors for the cat and maybe for the background. And I feel like I need another cool color in here. So let's do that. For color palettes, I think look one of the easiest ways to pick them is to pick um, two cool colors and a warm, or two warms and a cool. That's just sort of an easy way to pick your palette quickly. So um, these are really cute. These are all like really celebratory. Um, they're all really super busy though, so I don't want to pick something that's going to like really overwhelm. And I also want to pick a color that's going to be sort of similar to the background. So it won't like, you know, just become the focus. So I'm kind of liking these and I wanted to do a little bit of um, like a gradient or just so they're all multicolored. Oh yeah, so this is uh, Moyu Candy Floss. This is a Maniology Fairy Tale and this is Maniology Frosty. And this is plate um, M457. So instead of doing like a linear gradient, I'm just gonna kind of dot these colors. So like the confetti is sort of randomly, I hate that, don't you? <laughs> randomly dispersed. Like that. I scraped twice and it kind of hollowed out my images there. I don't like how it looks at all, but um, let me just, I'm going to stamp it on the thumb just to kind of see how it looks. Okay. It's not exactly what I was picturing, but I think I'm going to roll with it um, just because it's in the background. And, um, just do that again. I think um, just because of how this turned out, I want to focus more on the pink and the blue because those are softer. And I'm gonna put this sort of darker color as a highlight. I really don't like to scrape more than once. So see how like each piece or each piece is kind of separate now. Again. 
so far so good. I'm liking how this is turning out. What do you guys think of my super green, cringy nails? So pretty. During the Black Friday sale, I didn't get very much stuff at all, honestly. Um, I don't know, it just seemed like the sales weren't really that significant. It seemed like everybody was just raising their prices so they could lower them uh, lower them again on Black Friday. Um, so I, I don't know, and I just have so much stuff already. I didn't wanna just spend money because it was the day to spend money. Um, but they, Maniology sold this for $2. I think it came from one of the old MXMs, I'm not really sure. But, uh oh, that was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> Good yeah, you should have seen this yesterday. It was just covered in glitter, but oh my gosh. They look much prettier in the sunlight, of course. I'm not usually very good at using these loose powders, but um, I watched a nice tutorial on YouTube yesterday and figured it out. And I'm going to, oh gosh, I kind of think I need to put some glitter. And I think I'm going to try to float it. So let me grab that. I'm going to use this Sally Hansen, um, what is this? Disco ball. And hopefully it won't be too busy. But I feel like the colors are right. Try it on the thumb. Ooh, yeah, it's very glittery. Sally Hansen brushes like have such crazy, like they hold on to the polish so much. I don't know why they're different, but it's like you can take the, oh shoot, I forgot what I was doing. I think I've smudged that. Well, you can't tell. So. Um, you pick up, if you just take the brush out of the bottle, it's like it all just starts pouring down. I, only Sally Hansen does that in my experience. Okay, so while that's drying, I think I'm going to try to plan out my stamping here. These are layered stamps, and I'm going to do a similar um, kind of like gradient thing with the cat because her cat is sort of multicolored, and um, this one is a Siamese, so I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that, and this one also has spots, but I'll figure it out. And then it'd be cute to do like, these are really, so yeah, I chose really small nails because um, she also has pretty small nails. And so I just thought that would, I don't know, it just seemed to make sense. So, <laughs> um, but maybe I should use bigger ones. But I think I, I think what I'm going to do is kind of like squeeze that cat on there and maybe put a little cake if I can. And it would be so cute if I could put these little party hats on them. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll use one of these like birthday things and then I really like the smiley faces here but I don't know if I'll use that I was kind of thinking to be cute here but okay this actually dried pretty quick and um I'm gonna use that to my advantage these are the colors I picked out for the cat um, I have chamomile heart of gold and down the chimney and this is plate cads zoo zero zero two And the cat sort of has like, it sort of has like a, like the lighter colors are up on the face. And then the darker colors are on the body. Oops. I think that's pretty close. And I realize it's sort of chipped or whatever, but that'll that'll sort of come out in the wash when I um, do the rest of the layering. Here, this is confusing me. Okay. So yeah, let me do this guy or this girl. And 
I think I'm just gonna make like these darker spots. I think they go on, yeah, one is the ear, that's, wait, what? I'm getting confused here, what am I, what's, what's going on? Okay, it's like, that I think I hope oh it didn't even show up okay well that's probably for the rest and let me see what a white outline looks like I kind of think it's not gonna work but let me try I almost never use a white outline I feel like the white bleeds I feel like this kitty needs like more gold and stuff, but I'll just, maybe I'll just make the other cap so it looks like this. Because I kind of like this white line after all. It's pretty cute. And then I'll put the like the little cake in here and the other this kitty right here. Um, so let me do that. And I'm gonna make this cat a little more gold colored, I think. Oh, actually, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do his body or her body like um oops, I totally messed that up. I did it again. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I can do it again. <clears throat> when I was in elementary school and we're learning how to write like just how to write, you know. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I was always pretty messy, and like if I made a mistake, I would like try to write on top of it, <laughs> and uh, it would just look really sloppy, and I would always get marks from the teacher saying I was too messy. <laughs> so yeah, I I just have that tendency, I think, to um. To, um, I don't know, just like want to go over it rather than having like an ugly scratched out mark, but it, I don't know, it always ends up looking bad anyway. So not sure where I was going with that. Um, yeah. Oops. Cad's plates have a really thick or I mean to say really like deep etches. So sometimes the polish, it uses more polish than, than normal. So I have to be, remember to be more generous when I'm um, picking up. I guess, I hope that's right. <laughs> It just soaks it up, <laughs> just sucks it right up in there. Ow. 
Oh. I think I had his little tail there. <laughs> Put a little hat on them. I think I have to. I want to do the hat with a black outline. Maybe that's crazy. Or maybe they should have more brightly colored. Like maybe the outline like this instead. Well, let's try it. Oh, well, actually, I'll use this one because that's what I was already using. Okay. I like that, and... Let me do, oh, oh wait, there's this little crown on here. I don't know if that would fit on my kitty. Mm, I think I'm just gonna go with this. I guess this will be the birthday kitty. And I think this one looks most like her cat. And then what about this? I really like this cake, but maybe this one kind of looks like, I don't know, like it'll fit the best. Definitely this pink again, and I'll do the wrapper in blue. Oh, I wonder if it'd be cute to do like stripes. Nah, I think I'm overthinking it. As usual. Hmm, give me. Oops, a little too much. Uh oh, I'm gonna do that again. Birthday hat, birthday cat. Right, I can't wait anymore. I gotta top coat this. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, this is much better. Especially when I use a white outline. I just, I get so scared until I put the top coat on and, and it makes sense. But <laughs> the white outlines just, I don't know. I don't usually do it. actually worked out because I was gonna put this little like sparkly part in gold so let me get that show up hmm okay I'm going to put like a white moon star and hopefully that'll make it show up more like that and add some down here I really like these smileys. I'm gonna add some. Like I, I wonder if I just wanna put like a couple. So when I wanna do this, I usually just eliminate all of the images that are partial. So like, I definitely can't use them. So I'm left with a few options and I can just sort of put them on one by one. And rule of threes. Kind of silly. There we go. And I need something, right? What if I put like these balloons in front of these guys? Would that be weird? Might just leave it and put like one more smiley on there. It's kind of what I was thinking in the very beginning. Let me grab one more smiley guy or gal. And um, oh gosh, did that smudge? Oh, I must have hit it with my nail. If you ever do that, you can can use the stamper while it's still a little wet and just sort of like flatten it down. Um, hmm, I, yeah, I must have just knocked it with something. I'll put this one on my thumb. Where's my birthday color? There we 
go. And then I, I'll just put this coming right there, I guess. And um, when I bumped that, it got, it got like a little chip on it. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to repair that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint it. Go. And I'll need to remember to top coat that again before I smudge it, because then I, re I really won't be able to fix it. Oops, Ooh, I almost did upside down. Just because um, when I take photos of this, I usually do this pose, and so you can only see kind of like this half of my thumbnail. And so I usually, well, I don't usually, but I often will just put the decoration kind of on the bottom, and that way when, you know, you can kind of at least see part of it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to also um, see how it has like those little missing spots. I really hate that. So I'm just gonna go in with a little detail brush and fill in those little guys. And that just, it really helps. It doesn't really seem like it would show up or matter, but it does. It's like, you might not notice, but your brain notices, you know what I mean? But it's rich for me to be talking about perfectionism. <laughs> okay, so top coat. Yeah, you can't even tell. I'm gonna put a matte coat on these and then So thanks for joining me. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If today's your birthday and you like cats, then an extra happy birthday to you. Okay guys, bye.